Hi everyone and happy holidays. We are here at Seasons Grocery, the center of all the excitement and that's Delhi. happening here. And Delhi. Seasons and Grocery. Delhi. Okay. Come on down here if you really want to get in the festive spirit. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it said it said boar uh, that half shot says boar. Boar's and head. I thought it was talking about me. Yeah, well pretty much. But it's boar's head. <laughs> I mean yeah. that picture looks like you. Yeah, Look sure at it does. Yeah. We have an exciting show today, folks. Uh, coming up on the show. Raph Williams, the award-winning Lake Las Vegas photographer. Raftastic. And droneographer? Drone, that's a good one. Is that one. what they yeah, call yeah, it drone. now? Yeah. yeah, I call him the drone guy. Okay, the yeah. drone guy. He's the drone guy here. And then we've got uh, Peter Vukotic, the West Coast Moak sales manager. Um, we'll be talking about the upcoming uh, Rudolph Neon Lights Parade happening on Saturday. And with us now, Sierra Nagel, the How's general going? manager of Seasons Grocery and Deli. And deli. Brand there you new go. deli, yeah. The brand yeah. new deli. Last and this has been, I'm, I'll tell you what, this has been an exciting time here. It really I was, has, yeah. Uh, yeah. I was telling you today that every time I come here, it's so busy. It you has have been, more, yeah. definitely more traffic, and you can attribute it to most of the sales to, to the deli. Absolutely, now. yeah, yeah. We just opened this. So last time we were on this, uh, we were talking about the brand new deli that we had opened. We officially opened it on December 1st. Um, had a great grand opening party, invited out the community. They all tried our catering platters that we're now offering. And, um, Everyone enjoyed themselves. It was it was really nice time. It was the kickoff also to our Snowflake Festival, um, which has been running all month long. We've had weekend events every weekend, and um, this is our finale that we're we're getting into we, this, we, this Saturday. We so. got to thank you for letting us you know close the front door for now for the show. <laughs> yeah, for, for the you moment. Yeah, yep. you've room. heard that yep. term, shut the front door. Yeah, this yeah. is well, where it began. This is literally doing it. That's, that's what we're doing. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like you just said, uh, we kicked off the deli with the Snowflake Festival. Right. Yeah. Um, the, the the party was great. It was. Uh, yeah. can you talk about what happened at the party. We had live music out here with Junior Roots from Bonafide. Um, he's coming back this weekend actually to, to play with us, and um, we've got some great gifts outside for from holiday vendors. Um, we're selling like little hand knit scarves and um, uh, doing a hot cocoa and wine station outside, which has been really really fun. The hot cocos we're calling them unicorn hot cocos. We got candy canes and sprinkles and all, all the fun stuff on there. Unicorn hot cocoa is right up your alley, huh? Tony's had one. I did, yes, yeah. I had one. <laughs> and I tried to sneak in more of the fixins, is right. that what they call yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> Unlimited uh, fixins. Hey, uh, Andy, I want to talk uh, before we go into, you know, a further discussion, tell everyone about the upcoming weekend. I want to talk about the Lake Las Vegas magazine holiday issue, right? And that folks can now text in at 70210. You have a chance to win some great prizes. Yeah. What are some of those prizes? Plus, you also receive the digital link yeah, to the magazine. It, it, yeah, it's straight to your phone. You get the the actual uh, the entire magazine uh, to your phone. But then you're also entered to win a uh, staycation at the Hilton. Uh, you're also going to grab a round of golf at Reflection Bay. You're also going to grab a couple's massage. Uh, I think we got a gift certificate to the village, so you can choose what restaurant you want to go to. And then also we have thanks to uh, 104.3 Now FM and of course Super James. Uh, we have Maroon 5 tickets that's going to be uh, part of that package as well. So uh, remember, you have to text the word Santa. All right, it can be uppercase, lowercase, doesn't matter, but the word Santa to 70210, and that'll get you the magazine, of course, and enter to win. But then also, um, we will pick, I think we said we're going to do the winner on Christmas, Christmas Day. Christmas Day. Christmas Day. Christmas Christmas Day. Christmas says we got to get you enough time, of course, to uh, grab those Maroon 5 tickets and uh, enjoy that. But 70210, text the word Santa to 70210 and uh, make sure you guys get in the fun. So we've got quite a few entries already. Uh, it's gonna be interesting, uh, yeah. a lot of fun. So um, Sierra, you, I, you know I'm always in here grabbing the soup um, and also now yeah. these sandwiches think that you have, I'm so excited that you have these. Um, can you just run down? And what the kind macaroni of, salad. We have a great yeah. sandwich menu. Great lunch menu, sandwiches, salads. Um, we're talk, can you talk about the names or just what kind of options so, they have? Yeah, yeah. One of our favorites is the California Baby, is what we're calling it. California Baby. It's a turkey bacon avocado sandwich. Very popular. Um, we've also got the Boss, um, which is definitely our top sandwich. Uh, <laughs> if you're be a boss, get the Boss. Um, so you can... <laughs> <laughs> um, it's an Italian sub, basically. Um, and then you can also get fresh sliced meats and cheeses, make your own sandwiches at home. Um, that's That's been really popular with the community. Um, I talk, you speaking about holidays. Um, are the cater is the catering options available? It is. It is available. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're so what sizes can we get? Um, it's stuff? just one size right now. It, just to start out, um, and uh, it's a tra tray of pretty much whatever you want. But our um, sliced meats and cheeses, we can do like a build your own sandwich tray. We can do um, charcuterie boards and things like that as well. And along with the food, uh, you know, the, being the corner store here at. Yep. Uh, 
at Lake Las Vegas. Uh, I mean, you have you have liquor, you have yeah. candy, you have a cereal, little bit of everything, travel drinks. accessories, and you know that kind of thing. We've got um, you know just a little bit of, of your provisions to, to get and to get through. Apparently, I missed the the the, uh, the email. The memo about on the, 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 the on jackets, the jackets. We're selling these too. But, um, yeah, um, on sale now here. That's yeah. right. And you know you, you have, have this white and gray apparel. options that's for right. the sleeves. Yep. When I was kind of jealous about the white sleeves. Well, that's for, I think that's for the ladies. I, I matched the the hat. You know, I've got a. Okay. But then also you got gifts. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah, we've got some uh, some coffee mugs over there with candy in them. Um, we've got a cheese board. Everything's logoed. It says Lake Las Vegas. We have a nice wine set, and um, you can get all your gifts for for your Lake Las Vegas fellow residents here at Lake uh, Seasons Grocery. Also, um, yeah. the cool thing with Seasons, um, and, and the, after the snow or during the Snowflake Festival, you and I have come up with you know the the year schedule. Yes. And I, definitely, let's talk about that right now. Yeah. And. So we can prepare, you know, the residents and right. new residents and visitors about what's going to happen here at Seasons, uh, you know, and how we're going to be involved with a lot of the village events. That's and right. Basically, like Las Vegas. So events. we're gearing towards having four big events um, next year, just through Seasons that we're we're participating in. I'm sure more will come up as as we go on. But um, first one is going to be Mardi Gras, um, and we're doing we're teaming up with the village. Um, there's a few restaurants that participate for the Mardi Gras festivities. We're adding a carnival into um, the parade that already happens. And and a um, bunch of other fun stuff that to be determined, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. yeah, it's going to be coming. And then the next one is Lake um, Las Vegas Days. Lake Las Vegas Days, which is a, a four-day event we're doing uh, this we're year. We're going to do it three days. Three days, three, three-ish days. Friday, Saturday, <laughs> Sunday. It's going to be now, um, of course, the first weekend of May. Right. And this is celebrating it's Lake Las Vegas. Yeah. I mean, everything, everything like Las Vegas. All the, all the different moving parts that it's make our, us. It's our what Lake we Las are, Vegas so. birthday party. That's like right. That's it, right. So. And then the next one, which I think from just the success that you had with the Halloween Carnival. Uh, Sierra's let me. Hopefully, everybody else will. Um, I want to call. Mm -hmm. um, I want to go with Halloween. That's where we're going with. You it's know, it's on it's, the calendar. So yeah, it's gonna <laughs> yeah. be Halloween, and want to kick it off on that Thursday with yep. the party that Tony's putting together. That's right. Um, for uh, Thursday night, the 26th, I believe it is, <laughs> and uh, Nevada Day is that Friday. Yes. So I think that's when we're gonna have take advantage of Nevada and we'll Day. We'll be doing a carnival out here for uh, probably those three days, actually. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, of course this snowflake festival it's coming back next year that's right yeah. it'll be the second what do you think second how, annual. I mean, what do you, what's your opinion on how how, it, uh, how it's happening it's not done yet but no it's not done yet it's it i mean our, our big ending yeah. is this our finale is this friday or so saturday actually, so uh, scott if you want to play that video um and we have a little yeah, video if you want to talk out. out and you and tony can talk about what's going on with uh saturday. you see the hot cocoa there that's the unicorn hot cocoa station that'll be That'll be out there this weekend. We've also got some fun samples of um, holiday beverages and some great things you can take home. Oh. Yeah, we had people inside and out, right? And uh, a lot of folks came yeah. in to try a lot of uh, the deli samples. You've had liquor samples out there. It's, it's been, been great, yeah. And this great. also, we had this out here for the last. Uh, <laughs> now, what do we have going here? Uh, well, you don't want to hold up. Maybe we can try to hold up the sweater. The that sweater Andy here, and yeah. I, yeah. See if I can do it Andy and I tried to create a sweater. So this is a create a sweater oh, station. And it's just falling apart yeah, that's that. okay. <laughs> well, we're gonna make a big mess. And that was our beautiful yeah, ugly sweater that we yeah. created. So, on Saturday, uh, coming up here at Lake Las Vegas, right outside of Seasons. Uh, you can create your own sweater. That's right. And it's how much? It's ten dollars. You buy the sweater, and all of the accoutrements here are included. So you can decorate with whatever. We've got markers. We've got okay. jingle bells, of course. We've got some garland here. Let's see if I can get this open. Yeah, all sorts of markers and stuff. Fun stuff. And it, this will start at twelve noon. Yes. Yeah. You can decorate until three o'clock, um, uh -huh. and right after three o'clock, we're having our ugly sweater fashion show. Yeah. So Tell the the ugly that. sweater fashion show happens here, and uh, we're going to have some celebrity judges. Celebrity judges and Annie, some great prizes. Yeah, Annie Meadows will be here. Yep. Coach Scott Cummings will be out here That's as right. a judge. Celebrity judges, and they're going to judge your sweaters. And you could take your own creation, right, yes. of a sweater. Yes. That you just made. Yeah. Of course. And you can enter paints, that right? into the into the contest. <laughs> right. Or you can take the sweater home, or you can even donate it to the Las Vegas Press. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And so, we've collected a bunch of sweaters this this season. I for, can't believe all the sweaters. And that's, you know, it's crazy because last year, all of the barrels were overflowing that's with right. sweaters. Yep. And this year, it's spread out throughout Lake Las Vegas, but you still have so many sweaters. A lot here. coming in, definitely. Yeah. So everyone has really contributed. Um, you made some real nice ones, though. Uh, but the theme is ugly. We've got a... We've got to get uglier here. I think that's now this, this one, is for this okay. So we're going to be on Channel Eight yes. on when Friday. Tomorrow. Okay, this is 
You can Tomorrow see us morning. coming. Oh, wow. And even their names. Got their names on the back there. Yeah. So it's going to be a lot of fun. There. It's really cool. So uh, Saturday, they have the Santa Cruz Santa going on here. And then uh, people will be out here from noon to 3. That's Everything right. with the Snowflake Festival still going on. Yep. And then uh, also at 3.30, we've got the Ugly, Ugly Sweater, Sweater Fashion Show. Fashion Show. And that all leads up to the Rudolph Neon Lights Parade. And that is the biggest, <laughs> <laughs> biggest wow we're getting no. for this, this snowflake bus. I think that's really the, the grand the finale. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It is the kicker. And that will start at 530. And we have folks that are going to be out here in golf carts. If you can uh, still call them some. that. I mean, they're, they're, they're so elaborately decorated, yeah. some of them. that They're you, machines. Yes. They yes, are machines. Yeah. And uh, we're going to have... I, we saw some being already decorated right. here yesterday. Right, and people are working hard around the community to yeah, they're <laughs> spice working up their golf carts. To get those uh, <laughs> going, and that's going to be really good. Yeah. And uh, you go to lakelasvegas.com uh, slash red nose if you need more information about the upcoming uh, Rudolphs. Or if you'd like to register. Yeah, or, to yeah, register. Yeah. You can we register still have, you know, cart. bring your golf cart out here. Must be decorated, but yeah. that's and the we're only. Yeah, getting, <laughs> we're getting um, inquiries, I guess, from not only people that live here. Right. Other people want to transport their golf carts. That's here. amazing. This That's next great. year is going to be even bigger. That's the, our next parade. So. And speaking of the uh, Rudolph Neon Lights Parade, uh, right now we have Andy Gill. He's standing by with uh, Peter Vukatic. He is the sales manager of West Coast Smoke. Andy. Hey guys, um, Tony, Sierra, thank you guys so much uh, for throwing it over here. I want to get introduce you guys to Pete, of course. Pete was with uh, West Coast Smoke. And thank you, Scott. We need the mic for him too, so make sure I don't have to speak too loud. Um, before we do talk about the Moke and uh, the amazing sponsorship, Pete, I got to give you this to um, throw that on for uh, the interview. So I, th I figured you would appreciate that. This is great. Because, you know, see, it is Rudolph Neon Lights Parade, and as you can see, the Moke, it is red, and that will be leading the parade. And now I think we can take the nose off, Pete, so you're not too uh, embarrassed throughout the uh, entire I'll thing. Leave it on. Are you going to leave it on? All right, trooper there. Um, thank you very much uh, uh, to you and uh, West Coast Moke for uh, sponsoring the Snowflake Festival all month long. Thank you. And then, uh, of course, uh, with this amazing, amazing uh, vehicle that brings a lot of attention. I mean, I think you've, been, you've seen it when people, when we're driving it around. Um, Talk about the Moke and why do people look at it so uh, intensely and, and uh, you know, surprisingly at it? Well, guys, um, what we have here is a 2018 uh, West Coast Moke electric vehicle. We have zero emissions, a six to eight hour charge with a 40 plus mile range. And it also charges on any standard outlet throughout your home. Um, uh, entirely open atmosphere vehicle. It is street legal and uh, they go about 25 miles an hour. I like how we got the air freshener in, a, in an open vehicle. That's pretty cool. Of course, guess, yeah, of we course. Do so it all a little up. different approach there, but uh, I think it does the job. Um, the really, really cool thing about this, and since I've been gotten to uh, you know, know it uh, gotcha. a little bit, um, just the charge, it, it's, it's any outlet. You any know what standard I mean? outlet, no specialty charging, um, very convenient, um, easy port that just plugs in here uh, above the it's right under here. driver's wheel. Yep. And uh, you plug her on in, six to eight hours later, uh, you're ready to rock and roll and hit the road. Um, the really cool thing, and thank you again, I, I know I, you guys sponsored a couple other events with our um, Henderson, uh, the symphony sessions at the sports club, yes. and then also with the canine trials. So you guys, you know, it's built awareness with uh, Lake Las Vegas residents and, and visitors alone. Um, so with that said, the next one uh, is going to be, of course, our uh, Rudolph uh, Neon Lights Parade, which is going to be on Saturday, as you heard from Sierra and Tony. And do you, th I mean, it's perfect fit to lead this? It's a perfect fit. I mean, we got the red moke here. Again, it is zero emissions, guys. So totally uh, earth friendly out there, no harm. It, and uh, put some lights on her and I think we're ready to rock and roll. Um, do you guys have a, a dealership already here in Las yes, Vegas? Yes, we do. We built a facility off of Saharan Eastern. Um, we do have a West Coast Moke uh, showroom by appointment back, only. And me. again, I'll repeat, you know, this is the first time these vehicles have ever been brought to Las Vegas, uh, just, back, just in the last back, few months. So, uh, so far, so good. And with Andy Gill's help and all of Lake Las Vegas and Seasons Groceries, it's tremendous. So the, the Moke's going to be down here, of course, at Seasons uh, for the next two days. Of course, Saturday, we're going to you know, take her out and get her prepared. She's actually going to be decorated with lights and, of course, once again, if you want to participate in that parade, lakelasvegas.com slash rednose. Uh, and then that's where you can uh, register. And then, of course, uh, lakelasvegas.com slash snowflake for the entire festival. So, Pete, 
Thank you for keeping the nose on the you're, entire interview. You're, you're a trooper. Welcome, I appreciate that. You can congratulations on the jacket too. All right. Thank you for the new uh, attire here. I'll yeah. make a good use of it. Uh, absolutely. You know? so, uh, Rock it for the parade on Saturday. It'll be fun. Uh, you guys come take a look at the <laughs> moke. Uh, come join the festivities, and I will take you guys for a little fun test drive. And teamwork makes a dream work. Let's uh, go. The nose is awesome. All right, you guys. Uh, we had the pleasure this past year to get to know uh, a gentleman that has really spread pictures and video all around uh, on social media and everywhere else. His name is Ralph Willems. And right now, um, award-winning Ralph Willems, excuse me. Uh, we're gonna play a video of his uh, award ceremony in Siena, or it's the Siena Photo Awards. And let's take a look at the video. And when we come back, we're gonna be talking to Ralph. And welcome back, Andy. What are you doing with that <laughs> nose on? It's blinking. It is blinking, and I forgot to talk uh, about this with um, with Peter that um, all the kiddos are going to get a free uh, free nose when they come out on Saturday. So I know that's the one thing that we didn't talk about, but um, come out and get your noses, kiddos and uh, adults, um, for your uh, for the Rudolph Neon Lights Parade. I'm trying to convince. Mr. Raf Willems over here to, to rock one, but I don't know. He is driving a cart for us, so we might have to make sure that you have one on. Yeah, sure. Are you in? All right. Absolutely. All right. So um, award winning, award winning. You're not just Raf Willems anymore. Um, Congratulations. Yeah, Thank, that's, you. Um, Thank you. Not, I think you won what? Three awards? How many awards did you win I in Siena? Three. Yeah. Three. Yeah. How many were you nominated for? Three. Three. I sent in three images and I won three. Three prizes. out of three, man. That's yeah. impressive. The um, we've got. Well, we've talked about it. We're going to get them up in you know in seasons and other spots yeah. so yeah. we can make sure that we uh, highlight them. And then talk about this photo really quick. Um, where was this taken? Uh, this one is taken at Reflection Bay during the neon battle. I mean, it's and it's the moment when they they all leave together. Looks like they're going all over the place. <laughs> but of course, neon paddle is for. Uh, novices and professionals who want to get in a paddle boat and are all neoned out so as you can see the the rudolph theme and, that's and you, what we you keep took that there. Uh, you took that on a drone or with the yeah, drone yeah. right how high right. up do you have to get to get that particular shot would you say it's a good question i think in meters so i don't know okay no, yeah that's fine we'll figure that it out one was about 30 meters which is okay 100 feet, um, 100 feet up this talk about the, yeah, drone this is the one from wow. uh, Country by the Cove? Yeah. Or is that uh, is that at it's Seasons, a, and is that the uh, Fruit Loops. the do donuts? No, it looks like Fruit Loops okay, to me. Okay, Fruit uh -huh. Loops, okay. Yeah, it's all the people in front of the stage during the Country in the Cove. Yeah. yeah. And then, um, of course, you know, you take the, um, these, I mean, these pictures, Raph, you've really done, thank you on behalf of Lake Las Vegas for what you've done the last year. Um, I, I love the story of how we met is through an email. You reached out mm -hmm. to me uh, to bring a pretty big company uh, out here to do, um, I, I believe it was, they already won the award and it was part of the trip. Can you explain the DJI? Um, the DJI job, so there was uh, seven people from China, from the headquarters of DJI, that wanted to come make a video of Las Vegas because there they had a local contest and the winner would win a trip to Vegas. 
but they are not allowed to fly here for commercial purposes because you have okay. you need authorization from FAA and you need insurance and all the, all those things. And then through the drone club, they got in contact with me and I went with them for a whole yeah, week. I mean, he, he, I got an email, hey, th I'm so-and-so, um, I want to bring DJI out. And I'm like, uh, yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> uh, for those of you that don't know, DJI is definitely, I mean, the leader in making drones or They uh, have like 80% of the market, I guess. Yeah. So. Um, you know, one of the things you do well, of course, you do the photography, but how do you, how do you become a good drone photographer? What's, what's, how do, what's the difference or, you know, well, what's... Well, I'm working as a photographer for 25 years already, so mm -hmm. the first drone I bought was more like a, f a fun thing for me. Just, uh, I wanted to try it. Okay. And the camera was not really good. But then I started to do it professionally for uh, real estate companies, construction, and now I'm doing it all the time. So. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, uh, do you have a favorite event that you shoot at Lake Las Vegas or that maybe you shot in the last year? Well, the, the neon pedal definitely was interesting to shoot. It's something that you don't see every day. Mm -hmm. We see a lot of things that you don't, you don't see, see every day, every day yeah. out here. Yeah, <laughs> red noses. Um, <laughs> uh, what, what, what's your favorite picture? Because in the magazine, again, when you um, you you text Santa to seven zero two one zero, you can uh, you can get the magazine, and in that magazine, the holiday digital issue is a, uh, all the kind of the ten favorite pictures that you had. Was there? Mm -hmm. Is there? Besides, you can't say the neon paddle. Uh, is there another picture that really stands out for you that you really enjoy that you like from there? I like the fireworks also. Okay. But, uh, because you even see the strip far away in the back there. Yeah. And it's a long exposure, long shutter speeds. Yeah. yeah. Um, that one right there. Stop right there, Scott, for me. The I Love Lake Las Vegas. Um, that takes us back to our 4th of July celebration, mm -hmm. which we called Celebrate Americana. And I got the powers that be to let me come up with a crazy idea to get a professional uh, sandcastle maker out here. And that's my favorite. Of course, yep. it says I Love Lake Las Vegas. But yeah. um, what was your opinion about that? With you know, We, we made it... Um, what do you call it? We made it. Um, they, they were able to get in the sandcastle. So, and I think I think your son got some photo love too. There. Yeah, right? yeah absolutely. He's actually printed in the RJ, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So shout he out to Vic. I remember it was very hot. So yeah, it was a very every hot half day. hour you yeah. had to go inside a little bit. To cool but it was from. beautiful. But you yeah, know, yeah. the one thing about uh, Raf being out here at Lake Las Vegas, you have. I, I would think as a photographer, you probably have so many different areas and geography, right, to shoot. Yeah, so yeah, you get the mountains, you get the lake, you get like you just I mean, sunrise and sunset out here. Spectacular. Yeah. And that's uh, you must like for you as a photographer. Yeah, it's got to be so enjoyable. It's my playground here. Yeah, it is. Your five playground. minutes from the lake and yeah, can come here any any time I want. Mm -hmm. That's too funny. And you, you know how many photographers or people that want to be in photography that are out here. Um, do you, is there any place else that you think or kind of master plan or residential area or resort community that gets this much love? I don't think so. Not, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Lake Las Vegas does, it does uh, bring them all out. Um, for the uh, sweater, the fashion show on Saturday and the uh, Rudolph Neon Lights Parade, you're going to be in it, right? I think so. Okay. All right. We got your, uh, your cart ready to My decorate. My son so we'll is ready sure. to drive this little golf cart thing. yeah <laughs> is he yeah. all right is he old enough to? yeah i uh, know uh, so santa santa on a flyboard now you shot this before and we've had some rumors uh, rumors still yeah. that santa on a flyboard might be back in lake las vegas this weekend you shoot you have a lot of amazing photos of the flyboard yeah you know that whole experience yeah Another very special thing this year was uh, Frankie Zapata coming out. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, and actually, yeah, Frankie Zapata, of course, you know, he came out with his, uh, what was it called? The, 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 the flyboard. It was a real that flyboard. Like a, a real flyboard, one flyboard yeah. that's jet not engines. attached to anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's a jetpack. It wakes up all the South Shore and all the other residents. Zipping around the lake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How difficult was it to shoot that, though? Because that was something that's moving all the it time. And you sent the drone up, too, right? Yeah, yeah. But it was pretty difficult because. I don't communicate with him, so I don't know what his next <laughs> move is. And he doesn't really see the drone, I think, right. because it's pretty small. That was one of my favorite events this year out here. That was He's cool. actually, now that you bring that up, um, I think Santa is going to make a grand entrance on Saturday as well. So when he's coming yeah. to the uh, sweater, the fashion show, the sweater fashion show, and of course the, uh, the, the parade, he's going to come back. But 
Um, I mean, just alone, the pictures that you do, Raph, thank you so much. And, and one thing before we wrap it up with him, um, the uh, I Love Lake Las Vegas series, mm -hmm. uh, we do a video series that's, uh, that you can see on our website. And um, we put together, we grab a resident and grab a real story. How, how much do you, uh, do you, you know, I know you and me work on that really closely and we have another one coming out hopefully before Christmas that you'll see, but um, what's it like? I know you don't necessarily live here, but you basically do. Uh, what's it like to get to know the residents in your opinion on everybody that's out here? Well, it's nice. They're all very interesting people with their own little story. And I like to do this series because it's real. I mean, it's, there's not actors acting as if they live here making a commercial. It's real stories of real people. We, we get really lucky. It's funny because we'll talk to Raf and I'm like, you know, we want it to make it real. We want to do that stuff. And it's not, we just ask a question and then they'll run and with it. And I'll be like, hey, Raf, I'm like, that's yeah. it. We're mm -hmm. good. <laughs> um, <laughs> but tell, um, tell everybody where they can see more of your uh, photography, your videos, and get some more information yeah. about you. Um, I have two websites. One website is more my photography work, which is rafiwillems.com, do I have to spell that? Yeah, no, it's okay. We got, they, got the, they got it up on the screen for the you. The other one is dronelasvegas.com. Okay. And uh, once again, what were the awards that you won? What categories were they well, in? Speak of, yeah, wrap it up and talk about I know we kind of just jumped into the video, yeah. but exactly what is the Siena Photo Awards? It's a big contest with a, a, cere a ceremony on and a piano Saturday. player. Also. <laughs> <laughs> and they have like this year they had i believe 49,000 submissions wow for all the photography and for the drones Beautiful photography day. they had 4,400 4, and in those yeah and those categories i took uh, three prizes and so is th it's in belgium right it's in uh, italy it's in italy i'm sorry yeah. it's in italy yeah. he's from belgium he's from belgium um, yeah. it's in italy so i mean how was the trip did you have you took your family it was a good time yeah or? i flew to belgium indeed because my family lives there and then i went f to italy for the weekend okay yeah well i, I know you look like 007 up on the stage there so double <laughs> raf is pretty impressive stuff but again thank you so much for um, the amazing photos, amazing work, the amazing time that you put into Lake Las Vegas, yeah. and everybody here definitely appreciates it. So. All right, thank you guys. Yeah. Thank you, Raf. Um, happy holidays too. Yeah. Yeah. Same. So, are you ready for the weekend? This is going to be one busy weekend. We got some other things, of course. The ugly sweater day. Um, I know we didn't talk about was. Um, let's go through a timeline. Can we do that? Yeah. Let's let's because it well actually ugly sweater. The national ugly sweater day is Friday. Yes. And then so on Friday, we start off with um, the sports club. They usually do their happy hour. And so it's gonna be uh, ugly sweater happy hour. And so that's where we're gonna be able to start it off, kick it off and, and uh, rock the ugly sweaters. And then um, Tony right here put together a employee party. And it's basically, I mean, anybody can come, but it's really for um, uh, all the Lake Las Vegas employees. You know, we've all done our parties here uh, at Reflection Bay, at South Shore Country Club and other places, but um, we uh, opened it up for everybody to come celebrate outside at, on the strip in a nightclub up at the top of the Mirage. And uh, Tony, up you know, let's- the top of the Mandalay Bay. Uh, um, the Mandalay Bay, yeah, I'm sorry. I haven't been room. on the strip in a while. Excuse it's okay, me. yeah, that's right. Um, uh, so uh, it's at the Foundation Room, starts at nine o'clock on Friday night. If you bring a sweater for the Las Vegas Rescue Mission, free admission, and then you also get a free cocktail. That's so we thank them for all of their generosity. So if you bring five sweaters, do you get five cocktails? You get, <laughs> guys. He's a yeah. typical Vegas guy, yeah, always no? okay. looking for something free. That little little hookup, advantage. the homie hookup. Yeah, no, that's great. So okay. yeah, and then our good friend Super James uh, will be out there DJing live. As you guys say, in the mix, in the mix. And we'll be in the mix. He'll yeah. be in the mix. Talk about the sweater drive tone. I know this is probably their last Lake Las Vegas live of the year. Um, so uh, we got to, have to shout out Scott definitely and and Nick for all the amazing work that they do. Um, thank you, thank guys. you guys. And you know, amazing work, Tony, that you've done. And your, I believe your sweater drive started at the Foundation Room, right? Yeah, we started it up there at the Foundation Room about four years ago. And then uh, thanks to you guys here at Lake Las Vegas, I mean, this year is just, it's incredible because we see barrels like all over the city that are overflowing with sweaters and blankets. And of course- On uh, Monday, we did a, the oh. event at uh, California All-Stars. They had five barrels filled. We had, um, the barrels filled here, and I and also um, I, I want to shout out uh, Mo at Green Cleaners. Green Cleaners, his name yes. is Mo. Please let's um, do that. He uh, is actually going to. I, I told him it's a lot, but he said he'll do it, and he's going to wash all of the clothes and all the sweaters that we get, and actually wrap them up and be able to have them delivered nice 
and clean to um, the rescue mission. So um, that's that's incredible. I hopefully yeah. Mo's able to come out here. We're gonna go by and chat with him, and get, hopefully he's out here on Saturday, and we can uh, shout him out and give him some more love. But yeah, that's gonna be. Big. I want to thank him in person too, and uh, that that's incredible. And then there's other places around the valley, right? Like uh, the born and raised locations off the strip. Uh, Sin Greens, City and Proteins. Greens and Protein, Sin City CrossFit. Yeah, uh, a lot of good spots. Yeah, don't forget, you guys, text Santa to 70210. Text the word Santa to 70210. Don't forget, we are also having fireworks on New Year's Eve. And coming up, the Verana by Pulte Grand Opening. Yeah, yeah, Verena. That's it's, Verena. Yeah, yes. it's a brand new, beautiful community right across from the sports club. We opened up Bolano a year ago, and now it's going to be Verena's turn on uh, January, January 12th. It's a Saturday, 11 to 4, at the sports club. You're going to be able to come out and enjoy uh, a lot. Village uh, restaurants, the spa, all of it that happens right here at Lake Las Vegas. And we better see you there. And then for Saturday's event, go to LakeLasVegas.com. Please come out here this uh, Saturday. It's going to be a huge day. Thanks to all of our guests, right? Sierra Nagel right here from uh, Seasons Grocery and Deli now. Peter Vukatic, uh, the West Coast Moak sales manager who had on his blinking nose to Raph Willems, of course, the award-winning Lake Las Vegas photographer. For Andy Gill, Tony Cardasco, have a happy and safe holiday season and happy new year, right? While Absolutely, we're at it. yep. Take care, everyone. See you guys next year. We'll see you next year.